Hi everyone, so today is going to be something totally irrelevant probably and I thought I was just going to do a little vlog because there were a couple of things I wanted to talk to you about and just a kind of general chit chat update type of vlog really, we're kind of sat in my living room now I'm all dressed and made up because I'm going to the Soap and Glory Blogger Christmas event later on so I'm just waiting a little bit here and then I'm going to go and catch my train but um I just wanted to talk about what is going on with YouTube at the moment. I know a lot of people have been tweeting and messaging about it, but basically they've changed the layout. It's kind of all gone together with Google+, Plus, which I'm not sure how that works, but whatever. And they have um, totally made it an absolute nightmare. So for you to get to your YouTube inbox, you have to click upload, go to your analytics, and then your inbox is in there rather than just being where you can see it. And today I realized that they've actually made it so you can't reply to every single comment you can only reply to the ones that are the newest and show up as like a little notification which I think they're trying to kind of make YouTube more of a kind of TV concept but they don't understand that for things like beauty videos it is very much a community and I want to be able to like respond to comments and to reply to your comments and they've just made it so you can't reply at all unless it comes up in your not notification and I don't want that so I think maybe you can kind of comment just as yourself and what I might do is just do that and mention people's names in the comment but that's just so annoying and it means that people are going to have to go back in to the video again to check the comments and I just think it's an absolute ridiculous way of doing it and it just really makes things awkward and I'm really really not happy about it. So uh, yeah, I don't know, I mean, you'll let me know if you've experienced this and it was kind of one of those mandatory changes where I clicked it and it just did it and I wasn't even prepared for it. But I'm really, really gutted that that's what's happened because it's just made YouTube like kind of less enjoyable and not as easy. And I really did like the fact that I could reply to people's comments and then people are gonna think that, you know, if they're not aware, they're gonna think you're just being rude and you're not replying to their comments and that kind of thing. So I'm gonna try and see what I can do with that. But if you have got something that you really want to ask me, Facebook and Twitter are the way to go. My Twitter and Facebook are linked in the down bar. So go and um, contact me on there if it's something that you like. want to make sure that you get a response because I always try and respond there. I always do respond. It might take me a while, but I will get round to responding to you. And um, yeah, so definitely let me know what you think about that. I think it's absolutely Sorry about ridiculous. that, my phone rang. My phone has not stopped going crazy today at all and I'm gonna have to go and um, put it on charge, I think, otherwise. I won't be back home till really late tonight just because um, the event finishes. It's not a long train journey for me, it's only like half an hour, but um, the ticket that I got was an off-peak ticket and I'll have to wait a little bit and that kind of thing, so I won't be home till like gone um, half nine, so I need to make sure that my battery lasts and my battery dies so easily. So. I need to buy one of those things that like you can charge your phone on the go. I really need to get one of those, but I've just not seen it and I never remember, but I'm going to have to go and charge it before I go out because I know what's going to happen. I'll end up fiddling on my phone and Instagramming things and it'll just die on me. But um, yeah, we were talking about YouTube, weren't we? Super, super annoying and I honestly think that it's just the worst idea ever because I think they're trying to just kind of make it more like television and not understanding that when you make certain types of videos you need that interaction but I don't know we'll see how it goes so as I said if I don't reply to your comment I'm not ignoring you I just can't reply um but yeah what else have I been doing? I've developed a slight coffee addiction and this is so bad and really weird because I never normally drink coffee but the last few weeks I've just been really craving coffee and I've been buying coffee when I'm out and having coffee at home every now and then which is a bit strange. Um, and I don't know why I've just suddenly been craving it. I haven't been particularly tired so like craving the caffeine. I think it's more the sugar, it's the kind of hot sugariness and it tastes like something naughty rather than just having a cup of tea because I really don't like tea with sugar it doesn't do it for me so that's um, that my makeup today I've um, kind of developed a strategy of makeup lately that's very very long lasting because I've been really busy and I've been out of the house a lot lately um, in times where I wouldn't normally be so I've been coming home really late and I've just been really busy with bits and bobs of work and um, 
so I've kind of needed my makeup to really stay put. So I'm wearing the 17 um, Stay Time Foundation, which I love. I think like 17 have really got their act together when it comes to so many of their products at the moment, and it's amazing. It's so full coverage, and it just lasts and stays looking amazing. So I'm wearing that. My brows are the Soap and Glory, the Archery Pencil, which I love as well. Um, my eyes, I've just got a little bit of um, Max Sable in the crease and a little bit of the, I think it's called Silk Teddy from Too Faced from the Neutral Eye Palette or Natural Eye Palette. I've got that kind of all over. Waterproof mascara because my mascara has just been smudging a bit lately because I've been out from like 10 o'clock in the morning, not coming home till like half past nine every night. Um, so I've had that on and the 17 step not stay matte what's it called miracle matte powder that really helps to keep everything kind of locked down in place so i've been really trying to kind of keep my makeup looking um fresh all day because it's not been lasting so that's kind of like a little bit of um the products that i've been using and i've been really enjoying those so if you want me to kind of do maybe like a how to make your i think i did do this video but to film like a tutorial and that, that type of look maybe i will i feel like my tutorials are a little bit pointless considering i only ever wear really natural makeup but anyway you can let me know my hair has been being really good lately touch wood um because i've i gave it like a little bit of a trim and it really works and I'm scared when I'm gonna go and see my hairdresser when I go back home um, in December that she's gonna be like what is your hair <laughs> what has happened to it why, why is it uneven but it's because I gave it a little bit of a trim so um yeah I don't know <laughs> how she'll react to that but I feel like it's been a lot better and it's kind of just become more defined but it has its moments. Sometimes it can be nice and then I can wake up tomorrow and it'll be horrible. And I haven't been washing it every day as well, which is really cool. Um, I've got a video coming up on what I do with second day hair. I've been able to leave my hair a second day hair, which is unheard of for me. So you'll be seeing that soon. Um, my nails, I'm wearing this nail polish, which I really, really like. It's from um, Nails Inc., the Kate Spade collection that comes with this month's Glamour magazine. So go and pick it up if you can see it because it's a really pretty red and it's kind of a really nice formula. It was opaque in one coat but do you ever do this where something's completely opaque and I always have to put a second coat on it's like I cannot fathom putting nail polish on and not putting a second coat I need that I'm so weird and obsessive about that kind of thing um but yeah I'm gonna go now I'm gonna go and put my phone on charge and then I'm gonna go and get my coat and that kind of thing put my washing away and maybe put another load on before I go out so that my other half can get that out when he comes in and then I'm gonna go and get my train and um, have a little walk around. I need to go to Topshop. Um, I'm gonna go to the one on Oxford Street because I need to, well, I ordered a dress and it was too big so I had to return that but I've got a gift card that I want to use so I'm gonna go and do that and um, then go to the event later on which is going to be really nice because it's the first festive thing that I've done yet because it's obviously November so you mustn't do it too early but I'm gonna go let me know what you think about this YouTube thing and I know this is probably a really pointless video but occasionally these types of like little chit chat vlogs are nice so I hope you um well I was gonna say I hope you enjoy this why would you enjoy this it's totally pointless but you know what I mean I hope that um it wasn't too horrible for you and I'll see you in another video tomorrow which will be a normal video so I'll see you then